I've been wanting to do the triple bypass in my Model 1 Sega Genesis for a while now. When I was recording footage of this console for my Model 2 triple bypass video, I noticed that the output had some really bad jail bars. Jail bars are these really streaky vertical lines in the video, and to me, side by side compared with my Model 2 triple bypass, it's really obnoxious. But every time I talk about doing the triple bypass in my Model 1, people keep telling me to try to lift the subcarrier pin. I'm no expert in Genesis video, but I think it has to do with the trace routing on some of the early Genesis versions that actually causes this noise in the video. My console is a VA6, which is one of the later Genesis Model 1s, so I'm not sure if it's gonna help my console or not. But either way, it's a pretty simple mod, so let's jump over the bench and I'll show you how to do it. The first thing that we need to do is find out which VDP this Genesis has, and to do that, we have to open it up. If you've never opened a Genesis Model 1 before, this LED wire is gonna be attached to an LED in the top of the case. Now on my Genesis, I've broken these legs off. In your case, you'll have to bend the LED wires straight so that this plug can slip off the top of it. Then you can put your top case aside. And you're definitely not gonna have this piece. This is a stereo mod that runs the left and right audio that's coming out of the front of the Genesis here to the back so that I could have the RGB and the audio on the same side of the console. With the shield off, go ahead and take a look at this chip right here. My console has a 315-5313 VDP. If you head on over to the Console 5 tech wiki and you type in that number 315-5313, you'll find the pinout for this chip. Then you'll have to find the pin that's labeled subcarrier, and that's the pin that we're gonna have to lift on this VDP. On this console, that's pin 50, so we're gonna turn it and find pin 50 on this side here. Now the hardest part here is gonna be finding pin 50 in the middle of this entire row of pins. It starts at 33 and it ends at 64, so we're gonna have to count back from one of those two ends and find pin 50. I found it was easier to use these traces right below the pins here to use as landmarks, so I ended up finding that the pin to the left of this group of three traces right here, that's pin 50. We're just gonna be using a little bit of flux. All we have to do is heat up the pad of the pin and use the X-Acto knife to lift it up. Once you lift it up a little bit, you can go ahead and lift it up a little bit more using the X-Acto knife. And then I'm just gonna touch up the pads underneath so that I don't have any bridges. Let's go test the console and see if lifting this subcarrier pin helped at all. As you can tell by the footage after the subcarrier pin was lifted, it didn't really have an effect on my console. My Model 1 has never had a cap replacement, so I think I might try that before I just give up and go straight to the triple bypass. If you tried this on your Genesis Model 1, let me know in the comments what model you had and what the results were. And get subscribed because I'm gonna try a few more things on this Model 1 before before I give up and just do the triple bypass. I'll see you in the next video.